Hello, in this video I'll go through how you can replace a standard pendant light with its ceiling rose like this one to one that doesn't require a ceiling rose like these in the picture. In the previous video about understanding ceiling roses I explained all the parts of the ceiling rose and how to wire it up. In this video we're going to do kind of the opposite really, unwire a ceiling rose and replace it with a new light fitting. Since we're replacing the functions of the old ceiling rows, you do need some connector blocks to replace the old terminal blocks that were in the ceiling rows. I tend to use these Wago connectors since they are easy to use and you can stuff them up into the ceiling to hide them and also comply with current UK regulations. You can get them in loads of places like eBay or where I tend to get them from is my second home at Screwfix. So you need one of these that will replace the switch live connections. Two of these that will replace the permanent live and neutral connections and one of these that will allow you to connect all the earths together. For the sake of this demonstration this is not a live installation so you're not connected to any power. If you're doing this at home make sure you know how to turn off the power to the main circuit and verify that you've done so. If you're not sure how to do this consult a competent electrician. So let's get cracking. First of all take the ceiling rose cover off and the next thing we want to do is disconnect the pendant light connections. So undo the connection on the switch live block like that. And on the neutral side. And with a bit of wiggling. A bit more wiggling. Undo the live, take off the neutral. So now we're ready to take off the main lighting circuit wires by first undoing the two permanent live connections from each cable, and then go on to the neutrals from the neutral block, and then go down to the earth terminal and just undo that. <coughs> Give the wires a tug, that should come out fairly easily, and just bend them back to get them out of the way. And the same with the other cable, pop them back like so. Ready to go into the next stage. So lastly you just want to take off the switch wires. So first of all take the permanent live off and the switch live with the brown sleeving on it and the earth. Give them all a little tug and just bend them back so they don't fall back into the hole. Oh, there we have it. So lastly we want to just take off the ceiling rose itself by unscrewing the screws here and the other one like so and then just gently grabbing hold of the ceiling rose and feeding the wires back through, perhaps holding the wires so that they don't disappear. And there we have it. So now we're ready to actually take the Wago connector and connect up the live from the two lighting circuit wires and also the permanent live on the switch wire shown here. So take your Wago with the three way connectors on it and put in the live from the lighting circuits, making sure it's fully inserted, clamp down and then the permanent live from the switch, okay, make sure it's fully in, close the clamp, give it a good tug, that's it, just bend it back out of the way, ready for the next stage. So now we want to do the same with the neutrals, note we're using a three-way connector block here because there's going to be two neutrals from the lighting circuit and when we connect up the light fitting that's where the neutral goes like so. So now we're ready to do all the earth wires. Note this one has had its sleeving uh, dropped off so pick it up, pop it on, give the wire a little bend so it stays on. And just make sure in this case that the neutral one is sort of bent back so it's easier to work on the earth wires. So take your five-way Wago connector, 
We're only going to be using four, but they don't seem to do a four one. Pop it in, clamp it down, and lastly, with the earth wire that's on the actual switch, pop that down itself. And that's it, just bend it back like so. Uh, almost there. So we want to take the two way Wago and connect up the switch live to the cable with the sleeving on it. Note that we've got two spare ones here, which is where we're going to connect the light fitting. So if we have a look at the new light fitting, the first thing you notice is this metal bar in the middle, which is the actual fitting that holds it onto the ceiling, which is secured there by these two screws. And secondly, this terminal block, which has already been provided in this fitting, which allows us to run a piece of flexible cable and connect up at these points. We'll see more in a minute. So let's take the piece of flex, attach the neutral to the neutral block, and this switch live part of it to the switch live block making sure everything is secure. In this case, we have got an earth, so we'll connect up the earth to the main earth block, like so. Now we're ready to do a bit of trickery by poking everything back up into the hole. Now you can do this with these type of Wago connectors. It always is a little bit fiddly. So say goodbye to that one. And to the neutral. And get the earth up there, like so. And since we don't need the switch live anymore, we've got a piece of flex. There we are, nice and neat, leaving the flex that we can then connect to the light fitting. So now we're ready to connect up the end of the flex to the actual light fitting itself. Now, if you have a look here, you can see there's three wires coming from the flex and three points to connect to the actual main light fitting. It can be a bit fiddly, so uh, rather than show you a video how to do it, you have to sort of figure that bit out yourself, but it is quite simple. And the end result is something like this. So now we're ready to fix that plate onto the wall. Now I've marked a couple of holes already here and here to make it a little bit easier to get the screws in, because it can be a bit fiddly. Sorry my hands are in the way here, but all I'm doing is putting the screw in on the left, like that, and the other one on the right. So poke them in. Now I get a, an electric screwdriver, I think, in this case. And there we go. Screw that in nice and tight. And the other one, like so. And then take the light fitting itself to line it up with those two screws, give it a twist, and then take your screwdriver, just tighten one side, and the other, which you can't see in the picture, but a screw is the same on the other side as well. There are, nice and tight on both sides. Job done. So that's it for this video. I hope it's been useful. Thanks for watching, and if you've got any comments, please do post them onto YouTube. Bye for now.